Hi, I'm Kevin from the Brandatize email marketing team. And today I'm going to discuss with you how to write emails that sell like hotcakes. First off, some of you might be wondering, what exactly are hotcakes and just how quickly do they sell? I'll answer that in a minute, but first let's get into what you tuned into this video for. Eight ways to write emails that sell. Step one, come up with your introduction. This is the part where you tease the reader, you hook them, you literally grab them by the throat or the arm or the ear and get them to listen to you. Don't yell at them, just get their attention. And please, for the love of God, don't use all caps. That indicates that you're yelling and nobody likes to be yelled at. Second, write your body copy. This is the meat and potatoes of your email and needs to feature your why. So what is your why? Why should they listen to you? Why should they keep reading? Why should they click? And most importantly, why should they buy from you? Number three, create your CTAs. For those of you not in the business, that's what's called a call to action. In other words, your button or link copy. That's what drives them to click and take the next step. And this is critical because I can promise you with 100% certainty, if they're not clicking, they're not buying. Number four, oh, I know. Pretend like you almost forgot something. This can be a quick, oh, I just remembered, or a before I forget, or even a PS. Regardless of which of these options you choose, the important thing to remember is that this is your opportunity to tell them something important. This could be something like offering a 100% money back guarantee for your sale that is only available for a limited time. Step five, brainstorm your subject line. Note, I say brainstorm, not write or BS your way through or quickly come up with the first thing that comes to mind. That's because writing a subject line is literally a full-time job. Okay, not literally, but it really is that important. Because similar to my third point, if they're not opening, I assure you they're not buying. So spend at least 10 minutes coming up with a killer subject line. Use free tools out there like AMI, BuzzSumo, Google Trends, and more. Look at this like a fisherman widening his nets. The wider your nets, the more chances you have of opens and the better chance you have of catching a fish. Sixth, tell a story. Throughout all of time, humans have used stories to pass down information from one generation to the next. This allows people to help remember things, to seek answers, and so much more. Stories are incredibly powerful, especially when they're done well. But heck, kind of like pizza, even a bad story is still pretty good. And a story will hook your reader and put them in the mindset to take action or make a change in their lives. Seventh, show you're the expert. For example, you might be asking, why, Kevin, should I listen to you? Well, here's a short list of reasons why. I've done email marketing for brands like Disney, Lululemon, Omni Hotels, Edmunds.com, Jack Canfield, Brian Tracy, and the list goes on and on. And I've increased revenue and open rates and click-through rates on each of these clients. That's not to brag, that's just to show you that I'm not just making this stuff up. It works. So be like one of my favorite brands, Nike, and just do it. Eighth, close your loops. So in the intro of your email, you want to open up a loop. You do this by asking a question or saying something like, let me come back to that in a second, or before we get into that, let me talk about X, Y, Z. Then make sure you close those loops. If you don't, you'll upset your reader because I guarantee you that they will remember and be left wondering, wait, what about that thing you mentioned earlier? You don't want your reader to be left with questions or wondering anything. So remember this rule, A, B, C, L. Always be closing loops. And speaking of loops, it's time for me to wrap up here and close the hotcakes loop that I opened up earlier in this video. See, I do practice what I preach. So hotcakes. Well, first, it's just another name for pancakes. And for something to sell like a hotcake, 
and must be bought in mass quantities with little effort on the part of the seller, usually so much so that it's hard to keep up with the demand. The phrase appears to have originated due to cooks not being able to keep, to keep up with the demand of said hotcakes at a state fair or bake sale or church gathering. Now you know all about hotcakes and your emails and just how to write emails that sell. Now I'd like to hear from you. Have any of you used any of these tips for writing your sales emails? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll follow up with you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video about how to write emails that sell, hit the like button and please share this video with your friends. And if you want more marketing content, subscribe to the Burnetize Marketing channel. For more marketing resources and to discuss how Burnetize can help your business, please visit our website at burnetize.com.